Well, hey guys, outfit of the morning is the Champion C9. I got it on Amazon. The shirt is really comfortable and great for running because it's a uh, breathable fabric. Coming in with the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Facial Cleanser. Now, whether or not you wash your face in the morning, you know, that's a personal choice. <clears throat> I don't always wash my face in the morning, but I do think a lot of people are under the impression that they need to wash off products the following morning, and you don't. Um, they should have absorbed, and you know, it's okay to put sunscreen on, unless it's like some kind of a mask or something where the instructions explicitly state you to wash, off, wash it off in the morning. After I rinse the cleanser off, I would like to keep my skin damp, but I take a little towel and I do, you know, kind of get whatever is dripping off my face as far as water a little bit. So I'm not like, you know, soaking wet, but you can see my skin is still a little damp. I'm going to come in with the Timeless Q10 Serum. If you missed my review on these serums, check it out. I'm, I find them to be a good value. Sunscreen wise, I'm coming in with the uh, Sunplay Clear Water SPF 50. This is a Japanese sunscreen. I really have been liking it. I just, I'm almost about finished with it. It has this bluish tint to it. This enticing aromas is giving Tuscany Candle a run for its money, at least the pumpkin cinnamon rolls. If you missed last weekend's vlog, I swung into Albertsons just on a whim, not Albertsons, sorry, Randall's, <laughs> and was giving their candles a whiff, saw this enticing aromas, and I was like, why not give it a go? It was under $6, and I am loving it. Really nice throw. And you may have noticed this little gem in the background of some of my videos. Get excited because YesStyle sent me the K-Beauty advent calendar for this year. I don't know if it's available for purchase on their site yet, but keep your eyes peeled because when I tell you that this advent calendar is the highlight of my holiday season, I am not exaggerating. I promise. I am not exaggerating. This is seriously an underrated gem. Um, last year was amazing. The year before was amazing. I really love the design this year because last year we didn't have drawers. We had punch open windows. Stay tuned for December because I typically open this during the vlogs throughout the month of December and it's a lot of fun. Look how cute the little fish are. Those are those little cakes, right? Comment below on what those are, are called. I've seen them before. Those little fish, they're like in the shape of a fish, but they are they don't have fish in them. They're really cute. Little strawberry, oh, I'm so excited. And it usually, it comes with, in years past at least, and I'm sure it'll be the same this year, full size products, not just like little samples. It's not like, most beauty advent calendars are a complete waste of money. This is not. You get full size products, it's a lot of fun and I highly recommend it. I end up using the majority of the products that come. It comes with skincare and some makeup. I'm trying to decide when should I pull out my autumnal towels. <laughs> I think I'll wait until like the first day of fall. Anyways, coffee time. Oh, update on this tea that I got from the herb. I'm a little disappointed. It's not as good as I was hoping. It's not a very strong apple flavor. I much prefer uh, Celestial Seasonings apple tea. I wish Peak would come out with an apple tea. Um, it, so this is not good, but Tazo has a lemon, lemon cake loaf tea that is delicious. It's in their dessert line. And while I have you guys here, in the corner, that's me in the corner. <laughs> um, so 
you'll recall I shared with you I've been enjoying this watermelon jerky that I got from iHerb. Very good. Good flavor. Um, nice thick pieces. However, the honeydew jerky is not good. So if you were thinking about getting it, I don't recommend it. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't have a good honeydew flavor. It almost kind of has a fishy taste to it. And the pieces are, here, I'll show you, too dry, I don't know. I guess they kind of have a good texture, but they're sort of flavorless. It's kind of like chewing on plastic, <laughs> I would imagine. Anyways, let's fill up the kettle. Wicked Wolf, I'm almost finished with this and I am glad I impulse purchased this from iHerb. I do four scoops. Give that six minutes to incubate. All right, the timer just went off. Let's plunge. I'm gonna use my, this coffee is making me awesome mug today. Cause that's what it does. <laughs> that's exactly what it does. Okay, another fall foodie find, I guess. <laughs> Although, I don't know that dried watermelon is fall, whatever. Um, I discovered this Indulge Right caramel sauce, was just like searching. I am not exaggerating, this stuff is delicious. I got the chai spice flavor. It's a caramel sauce, but it's dairy free, it's vegan. Um, and it's sweetened with allulose, which is, I think the sweetener they use in like smart sweets. Um, as you can see, I have made my way through quite a bit of it. Um, it's really good, highly recommend this. Um, I got this one and then I also got the bourbon vanilla, yes please. I haven't tried this flavor yet, but I can't wait to crack into it. But it came with this card and doesn't this sound easy and delicious? You just take a jar of the sauce and two cups of chopped up pecans. I'm sure you could use walnuts or any other nut too if you wanted to. And you just put it in a saucepan and heat it up and then pour it into a pie crust. And boom, you have pecan pie. And they suggest optionally adding two squares of unsweetened chocolate. What an easy holiday dessert. Yeah, indulge right. I'm so glad I discovered this um, because I love caramel things, but it's hard to find dairy-free ones. I also really like uh, Cocoa Mel's. They're um, dairy-free caramels. Hey guys, I'm on my way over to Costco to pick up a few things. Last night I woke up and I realized just randomly in the middle of the night, I woke up almost a bit in a panic thinking, what did I do with that nail polish? So yesterday when I was at Kroger, I saw a nail color I really liked for fall by OPI. And I had it in my hand and I put it in my cart. And then when I woke up in the middle of the night, I remembered it and I thought, what happened to that nail polish? Um, because I didn't remember swiping it. I do self checkout. I didn't remember swiping it over. I didn't remember, um, you know, unloading it. And so I looked at my receipt. I didn't purchase it. So I have no clue what ended up happening with this nail polish. Like, is it, um, did it stay in the cart and it's like in the parking lot? And then by the time the parking lot attendant brought the carts in, was it found? Did I leave it 
on the, um, did I leave it on the, on the self-checkout? Ah, uh, I was hoping they had these. Highly recommend these olives. I'm current, I currently have an open jar in my fridge. They are so good. Although I don't taste the jalapeno. They're not spicy at all. And I honestly don't really taste the garlic either, um, but they're good. Like the olive itself is very good. Costco is confusing me. They like rearrange stuff, but looks like they have candy back here. So FYI, because um, if you give out candy for Halloween, uh, people are saying, but don't fall for this, people are saying that there's going to be a candy shortage this year. I'm not buying it. I feel like this is the latest post-pandemic pandemonium where they allege that things are going to, you know, sell out. It's just a marketing strategy. Don't fall for it. Except we, we um, sh should have listened to them with the toilet paper shortage. That was the problem. But anyways, Warhead Cubes. I always enjoyed Warheads. Um, this is a pretty, what do you get? Fruit flavors, fruit, fruit, fruit favorites candy variety pack. $21.99 for this 30 pack. They also have these Kinder Bars you could give out. Or you could be that family that gives out full size candy bars. What is this premium nude on pork flavored? Those are new. Oh, check these out. Everything bagel chips. These look good. Schwartz Brothers. Pair with dips or cheeses. These look good. You could also break them up and use them as croutons. These are new and they don't have gelatin and they're filled with a juicy center. They look interesting. Juicy fruity gummies, $9.99. You get grape, orange, peach, and strawberry. And they have a liquid center. I wonder if this is, remember when I was in um, California recently and I went in that candy shop and I was mesmerized by these like very plastic looking gummies in that candy store? I wonder if that's what these are. They're cute. They're individually packaged too, so you can give them out for Halloween. Sweet potato sticks. Just dried sweet potato. Interesting. Eleven ninety nine. Ooh, sesame ginger chunks. That looks good. Five ninety seven. Oh, pop tart. I feel like by putting it in this earthen looking, almost pseudo recycled brown paper type box. I mean, it's the same type of box, but doesn't it create the illusion that like this is somehow a healthier version of pop tart? Frosted Harvest Strawberry. Like, you see what they're doing there? <laughs> Manipulating. Jams. Ooh, this is new. Walls. Organic Double Berry with Seedless Blackberry. Ooh, this is blueberry So and I swung in here to Walgreens and I noticed this new product from number seven, Menopause Skincare, and I was like, thinking 41.99 what is this co-created with menopausal women instant radiance radiance serum um soy isoflavones actually may help they have antioxidants this also has ceramides this, i don't know it kind of looks promising these are expensive 32.99 okay and then there's there's also a night cream for $32.99. And a cooling mist for $15. Water, alcohol denaturant, glycerin, rose flower oil, and citronellol, which is fragrance. What a racket. <laughs> this one comes with a cooling rollerball applicator. That's gonna be good for depuffing temporarily. The Instant Radiance Serum. I kind of want to try it, but $41.99? Are they under their mind? I mean, this is a drugstore brand. That's like really expensive. With menopause, levels of estrogen decline in the skin, and that contributes to less collagen production and decline in collagen synthesis. So there is such a thing as estrogen defic deficient skin. And topical soy isoflavones, they may help. They're not going to help like change collagen production per se, 
but they can have a moisturizing effect and they also can help reduce oxidative stress in the skin. Um, so I guess that's kind of what they're marketing that towards. And they're also good for hyperpigmentation. So if you have sunspots, age spots, it may help lighten that up and improve skin tone and texture. But man, that's expensive. Definitely check out the Japanese brand Sana. They have great soy products, effective, much more affordable. Looks like Walgreens has the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Face Cream on sale. This is what I'm cur currently using as my moisturizer. Um, they're having a dealio where you buy one and you get one 50% off. I wonder if you can mix and match to get the other one 50% off, you know. Um, but I really like this. And if you're sensitive to niacinamide and or hyaluronic acid, this is free of those. This is the facial cleanser I used this morning, 11.79. So I came back in here into Rondal's to check out the candles and they put out Halloween stuff. Aren't these cute? Little bobblehead people. They're kind of adorable little ceramic ghost and these are new uh it's debbie lily home i kind of like the label um i didn't smell the sweetened citrus but the sal salted caramel is pretty nice then they also have these globes i don't know looks like they light up some pumpkins that light up too yeah, haunted house. Twenty-five percent off. Happy to see they have some Thanksgiving Day cool around. It's cute. Welcome. Why is the dog skeleton becoming more popular this year? You guys know how I don't like the dog skeleton. <laughs> Stephen King. Aha. Uh -huh. Cupcake berry, candied apple. What if these village candles are any good? Warm buttered bread. These are on sale, 25% off. And then the Tuscany candle you can't go wrong with. Buttercream pumpkin. Their wax uh, melts are also really good. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower. On um, Too Damp Skin, I put on the Timeless Hyaluronic Serum and the Aveeno Daily Facial Moisturizer. I am still using off and on this Nutrius uh, Brazilian body butter cream that I got at Costco uh, a couple of months ago. Um, it, it does have fragrance in it, but I actually enjoy it. Um, I've used about this much of it. Came in a two pack. Let me know if you ended up trying it. It has a nice. Let me know in the comments. Do you wear your street clothes sitting on your bed in your bedroom? I do not. Um, here's why. Because um, if you, especially if you have eczema, this is important. If you go outside, walking around, you have pollen, you have mold spores, you have pet dander, pollutants, settle on your clothing. Then you sit on your bed, that stuff gets transferred to your bed. And it can aggravate seasonal allergies for sure, make you itchy. If you have eczema, those are really common triggers for eczema. So it can end up getting transferred over to your bedding. So I don't do that. I know it sounds like, you know, for some people, you're on the same page. You do the exact same thing. For other people, it sounds neurotic, but it actually can make a huge difference. Um, that and changing out your bed linens frequently, laundering them to reduce dust mite accumulation. Dust mites are, I'm telling you, they can really aggravate somebody's eczema or a lot of people with eczema have asthma. And those allergens, those environmental triggers can also aggravate their, set off you know, an asthma exacerbation. No way, no. Oh my God, I almost made a huge mistake. I went to grab my tretinoin and, and I grabbed my carousel foot ointment. Oh, that would not be good. Then I rubbed the backs of my hands together to treat any sun damage there. 
All right, you guys, I am gonna wrap this vlog up. Thank you so much for coming along with me this weekend. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.